So we will start now from the splash screen. Our first screen which we will display to the user is the splash screen. So for that purpose right click on lib new and let's create a new directory new folder or you can say new package if you are using Mac okay so let's create new folder by the name splash screen then right click on the splash screen folder new dot file and we will give it name as splash underscore screen remember your dot file name must be in small english alphabets and it can be separated by underscore not space okay so splash underscore screen press enter import material dot dot and then we will create stat full widget we will give it name as uh, my splash screen and here we will implement our design so we can return a scaffold widget and in the body we can add a center widget child column widget man axis alignment man axis alignment dot center children widget I will provide these images files you can download these images files okay and once you download it then you can simply copy these images and then come back to the Android Studio right click on your sellers app okay right click here new and create a new folder directory package we will give it name as images press enter now right click on this images folder then click paste and click OK so all our images now inside here inside this images folder as you can see here now the next thing is as we have add these images inside our flutter project we have to add the reference in our this popspec.yml file so for that purpose here we can first add assets and then we can add a reference to that specific folder and remember the assets a must be below this hash sign okay in proper alignment no no space forward no space backward otherwise you will get error similarly this dash must be below the second s of this assets just like this okay no space forward no space backward okay it must be below the second s of this uh, assets okay as you can see just like this and as you know that we have our images folder so we say images folder slash slash simply means that whatever is inside this images folder that is now the part of our this flutter project that is we can use it here so now as we add that once you add that in the pubspec.yml make sure to click on this pub get okay also you can do so from the terminal from the terminal you can type this command flutter pub get now press enter so it has been added successfully in our project now come back here to the splash screen dot dot file and what we are going to do is we can simply say image dot asset from the asset we are going to add an image file for our splash screen so inside the images folder we have the image by the name splash.png this one you can use this one or you can use this one it is totally up to you okay any image you want to use on the splash screen you can just add that for example inside the images folder I have an image by the name sellers dot webp okay this image sellers dot webp so you can add it like this now also I want to apply some padding on this from all sides click here before this image I here okay and you will see this yellow bulb click on that and simply click on wrap with padding from all sides we want 10.0 then after the image we want to add some text that is as a title that is this is the sellers app
you want this text to be aligned at the center so we can set text align dot center let's apply style on it letter spacing will be 3 font size will be 26 color will be colors dot let's check it with the gray for now letter of course once we test it then we will change it and make sure to add const modifier here with the text okay as this is a constant string so this is the, the UI that is the user interface of our splash screen first we will have an image and after the image we will have this title sellers app then as you know that our app starts from the main okay my app and here the home that is the first screen reference we have to provide here so our first screen will be my splash screen just like this now we can open up the emulator so I will open so my emulator is open you can open up your iOS emulator or Android emulator okay or you can also test it on your real Android smartphone or on your real iPhone just connect it with your laptop or computer using a data cable so anyways now let's install the app by clicking on this play button it will install the app on our phone so our app is running now and you can see that this is our splash screen UI now here you can see this debug badge we do not need that so here on our man dot dot above this home you can simply write debug this one debug show check mode banner and you can set this to false and it will remove that banner from the app now the next thing that we will implement is to add a timer for a splash screen that is for how much time you want to display the splash screen so for that purpose here on our splash screen dot dot file we are going to implement a method in it timer this will be our method name then we can say timer const duration and for how much seconds we want to display it for 3 seconds asynchronous put curly braces like this and then semicolon and let's move this curly braces to the next line like this inside the curly braces now we have to write our code that is after three seconds where we want the user to go that is after displaying the splash screen for three seconds where we want the user to go so we will send the user to a new screen which will be our home page so first we have to write like this and here we have to write our page name our screen name so let's create that screen quickly here right click on lib new and create a new folder first and we will give this folder name as man screens now inside the man screens folder right click on it new dot file and we will give it name as home underscore screen press enter so this is our home screen dot dot file let's quickly implement for now we will just add stratful widget we will give it name as home screen and then of course we will just add an app bar using the scaffold widget we can say scaffold app bar and it will be app bar and in the app bar we will add title and using the text widget we will display text on this title so we can simply say home page for now okay just like this so what we can do we can simply say here that is home page home screen as you know that 
the name of the screen is home screen okay so you can say home screen just like this so after three second when it display the display screen for three seconds it will send the user to the home screen we have to call this method now from here we will call so in flutter we have a built-in method which is by the name init state init state simply means that whenever this display screen loads okay whenever it uh, the user come here to the splash screen then this method will be called automatically okay and in here we will call our method which is init timer okay which is this method where we write this time uh, functionality that where we implement this timer feature so now let's test our application so the app is running now and now after three seconds it will send the user to the home page as you can see here